MRSA, M-R-S-A, stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. That is a mouthful. Methicillin is an antibiotic. It's in the penicillin family, and it's used to treat infections. Staph aureus is a bacterium that's commonly found on the skin. Upwards to 25, 30 percent, maybe even more of the general population has staph on their skin. It's there. It's not creating a problem. Um, whereas the methicillin resistant staph aureus, uh, we see about 1% of the population has that on their skin. And it also can be in a state which we call colonization, and unless it's provided an opportunity to enter the body through broken skin or a cut or an abrasion, uh, for the most part, does no harm either uh, to uh, people. Uh, MRSA really is not a new bug. It's been around since the early uh, to middle 1970s. And up until recently, it's been considered more of a hospital-acquired uh, bug where uh, you come into the hospital and potentially develop a, what we call a nosocomial or a, a healthcare-acquired infection. However, recently, we've been seeing in the community, people uh, are developing uh, boils and abscess, abscesses, and when they're, being, they're cultured, we're finding them to be uh, MRSA. These people have not been in hospitals or have had a procedure done in a clinic or in a physician's office. So this is something uh, rather new for the community. Uh, they usually present with a boil or a pimple. Uh, it can be red, hot, swollen. Uh, it can have drainage. Uh, it's, in most cases, it's very easy to take care of. Uh, the physician uh, can order an antibiotic. He can uh, drain the uh, lesion or he can give you a combination of antibiotics and drain the lesions. If he does prescribe an antibiotic, it's really important that you complete the whole course unless he calls you and tells you uh, to do otherwise. Uh, don't uh, stop your antibiotics and save it for another time and don't share them with other people.